Nick Lukowski and Christy Weiss with the news, Caitlin Yunin with Arts and Entertainment, and Elizabeth Schiller with sports. And now, from Studio B at Scotch Plains Fanwood High School, Nick Lukowski and Welcome Christy Welcome to Weiss. the Period 4 5 edition of Raider News Update. I'm Nick Lukowski. And I'm Christy Weiss. Coming up on December 7th, the Student Government Association will be hosting the annual blood drive. Students 16 or older are encouraged to come to the old gym to make a blood donation. One donation is capable of saving three lives. Please see the nurse for physical forms to ensure that we meet the height and weight requirements. At approximately 12.30 a.m. last Friday morning, an armed robbery took place at the Westfield Avenue Quick Check in Scotch Plains. Police quickly responded after receiving a 911 call from the Quick Check manager. Nobody was physically hurt, although two employees present were shaken by the occurrence. The two assailants, described as two young-looking white or Hispanic males, produced a handgun and demanded money. No shots were fired, and the two quickly fled on foot with an undetermined amount of cash and are still at large. On Wednesday, November 16th, the World Language Department welcomed 2011 inductees into their respective language honor societies. Students took part in a candlelighting ceremony, and language club presidents gave a speech about the importance of their languages, French, Spanish, Italian, or German. Keep an eye out for fundraisers and activities the language honor societies will be hosting in the upcoming year. In spirit of the upcoming winter holidays, the Fanwood Police Department is inviting all residents to donate their new or gently used jackets and coats for girls and boys ages 3 to 16 for the department's annual winter coat collection. The coat drive is not limited to just coats and jackets. Hats, gloves, mittens, scarves, and socks are also acceptable. The donated items will go to less than fortunate inner city children. A collection box will be available at the Fanwood Police Department lobby until December 19th. Coming up on December 7th, SMAC will be hosting its annual Minicure fundraiser. SMAC members will be working in shifts, painting nails of young girls in our community to raise money for the club. Food and drink donations from SMAC members are encouraged and will count as one of the four activities necessary to qualify as a member. Please notify elementary school and middle school students that they are welcome to sign up and attend the event. The world's largest interplanetary rover blasted off from Mars last Saturday. Traveling at an average speed of 13,000 miles per hour, the Mars Science Laboratory and its corresponding rover Curiosity is scheduled to reach Mars on August 6th of 2012. The purpose of its mission is to explore the surface of the red planet for two years, searching for the chemical ingredients necessary for life. Last Tuesday, FBLA held their semi-annual dodgeball tournament in the new gym. Nearly 20 teams participated, including faculty members. Proceeds were donated to the Habitat Humanity Club to help support their building project. And now let's go to Quote of the Week. And now let's go to Arts and Entertainment with Caitlin Bunin. Thanks, Nick. The top five songs of the week are Good Feeling by Flo Rida, Someone Like You by Adele, It Will Rain by Bruno Mars, Sexy and I Know It by LMFAO, and the number one song of this week is We Found Love by Rihanna. The top five movies of the week are Hugo, Arthur Christmas, Happy Feet 2, The Muppets, and the number one movie of this week is Breaking Dawn Part 1. The Repertory Theater is bringing a new production to Scotch Plains Fairwood High School this spring. I caught up with a member of this club to find out more on this new play, Anything Goes. Hi, I'm Caitlin Bunin, on location with Junior Connor Cheney. Now, Connor, um, why don't you tell us a little bit about the play? Um, the play this year, we're doing Anything Goes, which is about a cruise ship. And um, the main character, Billy, uh, he's going after the love of his life, Hope Harcourt, who is getting married to this English nobleman who she doesn't want to get married to. There's also a mobster on the, on the cruise ship who's number 13 on America's Most Wanted. There's a nightclub singer named Reno, and she's like the main star of the show, even though Billy's the main character of the story. It's really good. All right, and um, Connor, which part do you play? Um, this year, I'm Lord Evelyn Oakley, who is this English nobleman who has an obsession with America. And what are the dates for this performance? Uh, we're going to be doing Anything Goes in the middle of March in 2012. It's, uh, it's going to be a lot, a lot of fun. All right, sounds good. Uh, now back to the studio. And now let's go to Critics Corner with Craig Gorbanoff. Hello, and welcome to this week's edition of Critics Corner. I'm Craig Gorbanoff. So this week I went to go see Jay Edgar starring uh, Leonardo DiCaprio and uh, Army Hammer. Weird name, I know, right? Um, and it was directed by uh, Clint Eastwood. I want to start off by saying that this is probably the best movie I've seen 
the entire year while doing uh, Critics Corner. Leonardo DiCaprio's performance was outstanding and unbelievable, and he should definitely win an Oscar for this, but I'm not going to go ahead and make that prediction because there's still mo movies to come out. So what happens in this movie is it's about the life of J. Edgar Hoover. He was the director of the uh, FBI for like 50 years, and the whole movie is really speculation because he was supposedly involved in a lot of dirty, underground, gritty uh, stuff, and it just kind of lets you into his uh, life and struggles, and it was really very excellent. And part of the cool thing that the movie does is it jumps back and forth between uh, a younger J. Edgar Hoover and then an older J. Edgar Hoover. So not only does uh, Leonardo DiCaprio play uh, this one role outstandingly, but he has to play two different characters almost, and he really just does an amazing job. Um, the, the other cast was uh, very good. Um, they were a little bit outshined by Leonardo DiCaprio. He's a wonderful actor. There's nothing you can really do about that. Um, the production value was great. They did some really cool transitions when they jumped um, back and forth between the when he was younger and when he was older. Like um, There's one part where they enter an elevator when they're older, and then when they come out, they're younger again. And I thought that was pretty cool, and it never really felt too jumpy. Um, this is... An, an excellent movie. Five out of five stars. You should definitely go see it. That wraps up here for Critics Corner. Now back to the studio. And now let's go to Weekend Preview with Caitlin Laffin and Shannon Mulligan. This is your Weekend Preview with Caitlin Laffin and Shannon Mulligan. New movies for the weekend of December 2nd are Sleeping Beauty, Shame, The Lady, Red Line, Answers to Nothing, Outrage, and Dog Jack. Come get into the holiday spirit and check out Santa at Fanwood's holiday celebration on Sunday at the Fanwood train station at 3 p.m. Or if you prefer, plan to attend the annual tree lighting ceremony at the Scotch Plains Municipal Building on Sunday from 2 to 4 p.m. Due to our being in between seasons, there will be no high school sports schedule for this weekend. Have a good weekend. Now back to the studio. And now let's go to sports with Elizabeth Schiller. The boys swim team is starting off their season as the returning state champs. So this is a hard title to hold, the boys are dedicated. On November 23rd, the hockey team had their first scrimmage versus Bayonne High School. They tied 6-6. That wraps it up for sports, now back to Christy and Nick. And now let's go to Car of the Week. I'm Tom Lines. And I'm Alex Markovitz, and we're here with Ryan Henkels' Audi S4. Under the hood here, we got a V6 TFSI supercharged engine, which is very powerful. It has 333 horsepower, and it can go 0 to 60 in 4.4 seconds. Officially licensed supercharged carbon fiber body kit, Ryan Hankels' blacked out Audi S4 is easily the freshest car we've had ever on Car of the Week. Here Ryan has 19 inch custom Audi rims with an, the S4 calibers. Ryan's quad exhaust represents the sportiness of this car and how fast it really Interior, is. Here we have freshly skinned Black Panther leather uh, on these racing seats with carbon fiber trim. It's a real fresh car with uh, a 740 uh, megawatt sound system. Ryan's S4 has 3D nav system, just in case he gets lost anywhere his adventures might take him, he always knows how to get home in 3D. And now let's go to weather with Tsunami Steve. Tsunami Steve, we're here with weekend weather. Saturday, we got a high of 47, low of 34. Sunday, high of 54, low of 41. It's going to be a nice weekend. Enjoy yourselves, have fun, do your homework, and love life. That wraps it up for the Period 4-5 edition of Raider News Update. Be sure to stay tuned for a repeat of the 6-7 edition.